Today I'm gonna to show you how to create a Google authentication using Firebase version nine. So when you create your project, you could actually authenticate users if they log in or register on your website. Okay, so the very first step we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to firebase.google.com and you must be signed in to a Gmail account and you'll obviously be able to tell at the top right. So I am currently signed in. Very next step we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to console. So click go to console, which is at the top right. This, this will take you to a create a new Firebase project. So all we're gonna do is just click add project right here. And then we're gonna start with the project name. This could be anything you want. So we're gonna do practice website test. And then step two is gonna ask you if you wanna add Google Analytics to your project. We're just gonna disable it because all we're doing right now is authenticating using Google's services. And then we're gonna create the project and it's gonna take a, just a few seconds to do. And this is very helpful because like me, I started doing front end coding only. And if you're trying to do this and you don't know anything about back end, it's gonna be hard. And Firebase makes it very simple where there's only a few lines of code and you could actually authenticate users. So now our new project is ready to go. So you're gonna land on this dashboard page and your project name is gonna be right here to the top left. The next step we're gonna do is we are gonna click on this web right here. And then we're gonna to have to register the app. So this is another nickname that we're just gonna see. So we can do practice website. and then register app. And then next, it's gonna give you a few instructions if you're using a script tag or if you're gonna use NPM. We're gonna use NPM. And this is pretty much just telling you how you could connect the front end to the back end, which technically is just Firebase. It's not really a back end, but it acts like a back end. And this is all you have to do. From now, we're just gonna skip this step and we're gonna to continue to go to console. And then the next step we're gonna do here on the firebase.console is over here on the build tab, we're gonna down click it and click authentication. And then right here, we're gonna click get started. And now it gives you all the different um, sign in methods we can do. We can do email password, which is a very popular one. Google, Facebook, I know they have GitHub, Apple, Microsoft accounts, anonymous, phone number. So this video is just gonna do Google. So we're gonna click Google. We're gonna click enabled. This is gonna be the project public facing name. So when somebody signs in and it shows like a little pop-up window and it tells you to sign in with your Google account, this is gonna be the project name that's gonna display. So we could do this one as uh, project test as well. I would name this obviously whatever project you're doing, make sure it's associated with that project, the name. And then we're just gonna have a project support email and usually just auto populates to whatever email you're logged into, which is mine right there. And then we're just gonna click save. We don't need to worry about these right here. So that's gonna save. And now we have the ability to use Google as an authentication sign-in provider. Okay, so now the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna um, connect the front end of our React app to the back end of this Firebase. So now we're on the overview page of the actual project, which is the practice website test. Right below this name right here, you're gonna see one app which is the app we created. We're gonna click that app, click the settings tab or settings icon, and then we're gonna go back to this. This right here is the setup and configuration. And like I said, we're gonna use NPM. So very first thing we need to do is we need to install Firebase to our project. So I am gonna open up my React application in VS Code. I'm going to 
zoom in so you can see the code better. We're going to open up a new terminal. My project's already running. And we're going to do npm i Firebase. So this is going to install Firebase into our front end. I'm going to let that do its thing real quick. And then the next step is we need to initialize Firebase so we could actually begin using it. So I'm just going to delete this project after I'm done with it. But make sure you don't share your API key with anybody because that's specifically to you. So when you do actually you initialize Firebase, you should have a .env file. And then it should be process.env and then API key. And then process.env auth domain. And these should all just be an environment um, variable file. So you could actually hide the values of what the API key actually is. So that should be done. That should be done uploading. Or installing, I mean, my fault. And Firebase onto our project. So let's just make sure we're going to go to the package JSON and we see Firebase version 9.17.1 is there. Next step we're going to do is we're going to go to the uh, base folder file and we're going to create a new folder and we're going to call this Firebase. Oh, spelled that wrong. Let me rename it. And then inside of that Firebase folder, we're just, we could just name this Firebase config.js. Doesn't need to be JSX, just JS is fine. We're going to go back to our Firebase. And we could just copy all of this and then paste it in here. And then we're also going to do a few modifications to this code to make it a little more easier for us to actually pretty much use. So we're going to remove all the comments. We can leave that comment and then we can leave actually this comment. Next step we're going to do is we're going to actually customize this code so everything gets exported from this file into our project. Okay, so the very next step we're going to do is we're going to import a git auth into this Firebase config file. And this git auth actually allows us to use authentication that is provided by Firebase. So right here is all we did was initialize Firebase and connected it. Now we're gonna actually pretty much initialize the git auth. So it's gonna be git auth. And then it's gonna be from, and then it's Firebase slash auth. Firebase slash and then the auth folder. There we go. And then down here where we have the app, we're actually going to export this cons so we could use it in all of our files. So export and then we're going to call it auth. And then we're going to equal this to get auth. And it's going to take in the app, which is initializing Firebase and the Firebase config. And the other thing we should do is we should export default app. Okay, now we're actually gonna create the button and the user interface to actually sign in with our Google authentication. Um, first off, I'm just gonna be in the index.js file and I'm using a Next.js framework in React. The next thing I already have the button made, I have the classes, everything, and that's what the button looks like. And I've just typed in sign in with Google. The very next thing we're going to need is we're going to need to on click. And then we're going to need to call a function. So we're going to just put handle Google. And now we don't have a function called handle Google, which that means it's not defined. And that's why we're getting an error. So we're going to create an arrow function up here. So const handle Google equals, this is going to take in an event, which is the click into an arrow function. And there we go. Now our error is gone. And now we just need to write the logic inside of this function. Before we do that, we actually do need to import a few things into this file to make it work. The first thing is 
I actually pulled up the Firebase docs right here. And all you have to do is go to the Firebase docs, type, uh, click on this build folder, go to authentication. You'll click that. You'll go right here to the left on web. And then you have a bunch of options, but we're going to click Google. If you need any help, you could obviously comment and message me down below, or you could actually look in the docs. So we're just going to do the web app. And the first thing we need to do is we need to actually import the Google Auth provider into the file. So that's the first thing we're going to do. So Google Auth provider from Firebase slash auth. Awesome. And now we actually need to call this specific Google Auth provider. And as you can see here in the files, it just tells us const provider equals new Google Auth provider. So we're going to put that right, we'll put it right below here. And then I'm going to copy and paste. And there we go. The cons provider equals new Google auth provider. And this actually could go inside of here, inside or handle Google. Oh. And what this is going to do is after we call it, we're going to have to return something to actually make it appear on the user interface. So what we're going to do is we also have to import a sign in with pop-up. And if we scroll down, it'll probably tell us about the sign in with pop-up, which is right here. Here we go. And then one more thing we have to put over here, which we already did this step, const auth equals get auth, which is right here. We just have to import the auth from that file. So auth from, and then we're gonna get out of this directory, out of that directory, go in our Firebase folder, and then the Firebase, Firebase config file. So now we have authentication actually imported into this file as well, which that's what it takes in as a parameter, which is why we need it. So the next part is we are going to have to return something. And like I said, we are returning this pop-up which that's what it does. It pops up the screen so you could actually sign in with Google. So we're going to return sign in with pop-up. And then uh, as you can see, it takes in two parameters. The first is going to be auth. And then the second is going to be the auth provider, which we named provider. You can name this anything you want, but it just got to change from here to there it has to equal. So other than that, so that means every time we click on the button, the function of handle Google is going to go off. And this does actually need to be async and await because it might take some time to actually retrieve. So we are going to do that really quick. Async. And then we can do a wait here. Okay, cool. So we every time we click the button, we call the function of handle Google, takes in the event that we clicked, and then we have a const provider equal to, which we're calling this function, and then we return it with the sign-in with the pop-up with the two parameters. So it looks like it's only about two lines of actual code that make this Google sign-in authentication actually work. So, so you can see, we're gonna click sign in with Google and there is the pop-up window as stated. All we're gonna do is click sign in. And since we have no state knowing that we're signed in, we can't tell on the front end if we're signed in or not and if it actually worked. But the easiest way to tell is we're gonna go back to our project overview. We're gonna click our authentication tab right here to the left. I'm gonna open this up more. And now it shows that we actually have a user that signed in to our application in our project. And it says the date they signed in, it gives them a specific and unique user identification number. And all we just get is the email and it tells you what provider they came from. If you want, we could delete the account. Let me make sure I'm doing right. Delete the account and we could keep testing stuff out until we get everything right. But this is the very simple way to use Firebase version 9 on how you could actually do Google authentication for your React application. I hope this video helped you a lot and I hope you got a lot of value out of it. 
If you did, please hit that like button. It'll help get this video to more people. And also, if you want to see more content like this, subscribe as well.